morning, YouTube. Today is Friday, June 28th. It is about nine o'clock in the morning. I got up this morning, went, well, supposed to go for a run with the dogs, but I was just not feeling it, to be totally honest. So we ended up walking. I figured it was better to walk than to just skip it. So that's where we landed. Um, but it was still a pretty good workout. We went even further. Um, according to my Fitbit, I actually burned more calories than normal, I think just because it was so much longer because we were walking instead of running part of the way. Um, so I took a shower and got myself semi-presentable. I'm not wearing makeup. I was like, I'm gonna put makeup on this morning. And then I was like, mm, I'm not. Um, so, Today, I don't have a ton of stuff to do. I for sure have to get the rest of my YouTube videos out, done, and ready to go. And then I'm meeting my mom later on because yesterday I made some quilts. Well, yesterday and the day before. Um, so I made the top of the quilts and I need to, well, I need to go to Joanne's and get batting, which is the stuff that goes in the middle of the quilt. And then one more piece of fabric to go around the edge. And then I'm gonna go meet my mom so that she can help me like actually put it together because I don't know how to do that. But I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, they're like, they're baby quilts, so they're not super huge. Um, but yeah, I think they turned out okay. Not super fabulous, but okay for my first time. Um, I have zero motivation. Like it's been pretty bad all week and today it's just like really, really I'm like, I don't, I don't feel like doing anything. I don't want to do anything. Um, it's pretty bad. I think it's because June 22nd came and went like last weekend and I have to be back at school July 22nd for, for pre-planning. So I think when that hit, I was just like, there's only a month left. And so I have been like super focused, super on top of things, like getting things done, crushing things. Like I wrote a whole freaking book and this week I've just been like, want to do anything so I still have some stuff to do and then next week we are going to Disney on Wednesday so Monday and Tuesday are gonna be very busy because I'm gonna have to like clean stuff because we've got people coming over to watch the house and the dogs and I need to like pack and get everything ready to go beforehand um so yeah and then I'll when we get back I'll have two weeks at home before school starts so I have to decide what I'm gonna do in those two weeks because part of me wants to be like super productive and get like all the things done so that I can really um, just start the school year off with like lots of stuff on TBT, lots of videos, lots of everything just ready to go. And part of me just wants to do absolutely nothing and like actually take a break. So I haven't decided which one of those is gonna win. Today I have no motivation, but I have to get these videos up. That is like my number one, like they just have to have to happen. So I think if I can get them up, then I will buy myself some coffee, especially since it is Friday and I have done all my workouts, even if I cheated today, <laughs> I've done all my workouts. And yeah, this school year I've decided if I wake up on time and do my workouts every day that I'm going to get myself coffee on Fridays. Um, and I, already started that a little bit during the summer. So I'm gonna see about putting these YouTube videos up. I'm eating my breakfast. I have these little muffins that I made. They're made with coconut flour, so they are low carb, and they have um, bananas and chocolate chips in them. They're delicious. And no normal sugar. It called for like a fourth of a cup of honey, but I only put like a tablespoon, and I probably could have got away with just none. Anyway, I'm gonna go and stop stalling. So I just filmed this like really long thing and realized the camera was not on. So I am currently in my office slash art studio trying to get all of my stuff together because I'm about to head out to my mom's house because I have these quilts that I've been working on this week for some of my friends that are having babies. Um, so I have this one that's like black and white and gray and then this one that's Winnie the Pooh. It's so cute. Like I cannot handle this one, y'all. Um, I found like a 
three different Winnie the Pooh fabrics and then um some with like bees on them so they go in like the little blue one and then I really like this mountainy one it's just super cute and looks kind of adventurous it just kind of reminded me of oh I can't handle it and this black and white one when I asked my friends like oh what are you gonna do for you know your what am I saying <laughs> okay, so I asked them, you know, like, oh, what, what colors are you doing? They're like, oh, we're just doing, like, black and white, like, neutrals. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I was not happy about that. Um, but it actually turned out pretty cute. So I'm, I'm content with that. And, you know, not my baby, not my nursery. I'm not having a baby in case anyone was curious, even though everybody has seriously y'all like in high school well all through middle and high school I had this like friend group and it was like the youth group at my church and there were let's see is that right me there were like six of us and out of the six of us I am now the only one that is not pregnant or having a baby or already have a baby. <laughs> and not like in a bad way. I mean, they're like married and stuff like that. It's just like, they're just everybody else. And it's really funny because if you had asked me in high school, which one of us would have been the first one to have a kid, everybody would have been like, oh, Becca would totally be the first one to be mom. <sighs> Y'all, like I do want kids. But having 750 of them has kind of helped me not go down that road. Because <laughs> I'm like, I have kids all day. I'm like, I have 700 kids. Anyway, long story short, for the record, some of them are married to each other. So I guess it's not that bad. Because there, like, there were six of us. And then two of them were boys. And both of the boys married girls in like the little friend group. So not the end of the war. So not quite as bad as it sounds. I guess it doesn't sound bad because again, they're like married. We're all grown ups, you know. We're all like 23, 24. Anyway, I'm gonna get some stuff together so that I can go to my mom's house. Yeah. Side note I love this painting so much. It's like, it's one of my favorite ones that I've ever done. I really like that one. And ignore this all of my stuff has moved because of this cutting mat and then the sewing machine on my desk so everything's just a mess um this sign I think I've changed it twice in like the year I've had it but then I also really like these two or two of my absolute favorites these are not even listed on my Etsy shop because I love them so much I was like I cannot get rid of them and then I have a couple of these have like three or four of these that are little they're like different colors um but they're all these like roses and oh they're so pretty I love them that probably sounds really bad since I made them and I'm like you know gushing about how pretty they are but whatever <laughs> super super quick outfit of the day before I head on out I am wearing this gray and white striped shirt that I got at Marshall's the other day I will link the vlog well I will try to remember to link the vlog where I bought this up above I hate I try not to say that because I hate when I'm watching a video and someone's like I'll link it above and then nothing pops up but I'm gonna try to remember try I always I always watch them before I put them up so it's ooh my hair y'all gracious anyway um it's super cute it's like really lightweight and I like how it, the stripes go two different ways I just think that's really fun um a nice thick here nice high neckline so this will be good to wear to school very soon because it's gonna be really hot when I start school um and then I have these like orangey ready shorts I love 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 this color in the summer I don't know what it is there it's just like one of my favorites I actually had a pair of shorts that were almost this exact same color last year that were from J Crew, but they did not fit me this year which is good because that means I lost some weight um so yeah those were actually I needed a 12 but they didn't have them so I got like a 14 um and that was last summer and then these are eights so that's pretty stinking good I would say um 
And then just like my brown little shoes, these are from Payless a while ago, obviously, since Payless is going out of business. Um, same watch I always wear. And these are actually the same Pura Vita bracelets that I wore yesterday. The one on the left is called Citrus Surfline. And I do not know what the one on the right is because um, Pura Vita sent me a couple of bracelets to say thanks for being a rep. So like down below, I always, always, always have that discount code that says Becca Davis 20 um, and where you can get 20% off. And these bracelets y'all are only like six bucks. And I love them in the summer because they're waterproof. So I do not worry about like taking them to the pool or the beach or anything like that. Um, and then the same watch that I always wear. And then today I'm sporting my Kate Spade bow earrings because next week we're going to Disney. And even though these are not Disney earrings, they're bows. And that just reminds me of Minnie Mouse. So, yeah. Um, I did get my... I need to get three YouTube videos going up because I actually have a bonus vlog next week, which will already have passed by the time you see this one. Um, but So I had three vlogs last week. So I have... One I had already put up, I got the one up for today, and then I have a bonus one that's gonna go up tomorrow. I got my Sunday teaching video up, and then I don't have a TPT video because I have run out of videos because it's the end of the month. So I need to go film a whole bunch of stuff, but y'all, I don't think that's gonna happen today. So maybe it'll happen on Monday, and if not, then I won't have a TPT video, which will not be the end of the world because I was thinking about going back to doing them every other week. I don't know. Side note, this is my bedroom. Um, you can see bed, art, jewelry box, my fiddle leaf fig tree. I love, love, love my fiddle leaf fig tree. More art, chair, Athena. Isn't she cute? She likes to lay in that spot. I don't know why. Um, but then I have this little thing right here, which is actually super cute. My husband decorated it because he's really good at that kind of stuff. But it needs something to go over top of it. And I can't decide what like should I do another painting or should I just do like a mirror or should I do like I don't know comment down below with your ideas I'm gonna head out hey guys I am back it's about 2 40 at the moment um I did not get the my things quilted but I did get them like prepped because I didn't know how to do any of that <laughs> um so my mom like explained it to me and prepped it and we also monogrammed them with initials so well just like for one initial um but still I think it just adds a little something special to them and so those are pretty much ready and I wanted to show you <laughs> I um went shopping on my dad's bookcase and found two Hemingway books which I am going to borrow my dad and I both have a slight Hemingway obsession, both of us brought on by two separate trips to Key West. Um, he has been many, many times. I've only been one time. Um, and then my mom gave me two little things to give to one of my friends, because they're a baby, obviously. Um, so she gave me, these are things that she has made that are just so stinking adorable. Oh my gosh. Um, so this is like a little bib that has a tie on it. This is, she has a company. She's not doing a ton with it at the moment. Um, but it's so cute. And it's like quilted. You can see all the swirly things and stuff. So that's really cute. And then this one that just like, oh, I just dropped it. Melted my heart. This little bird. It's so cute. I can't handle it, y'all. Like, I'm gonna need this pattern and I'm gonna need to make like all of the animals. That's so cute. <sighs> so I got that. I put, I didn't eat. So I put some tostadas in the, uh, the toaster oven with some cheese on them. So I'm waiting for those to cook. I, cause I had like breakfast and then I didn't eat lunch. Although my mom did give me some tiramisu. I don't know why she had tiramisu. She was like, oh, I made a tiramisu. Okay, um, but it didn't quite fill me up like a lunch would, so I'm waiting for that to do, to melt, that's the word, and right now I'm going to hop on to YouTube and hit that last video up. Also, question, I was thinking through like my August and September videos for back to school, and I was wondering if anyone is interested in like things to help you go back to school, like um, not, so things like easy hairstyles, 
easy makeup routine, easy meal prep, like those kind of things, like for lunches, you know, are you interested in any of that kind of stuff? If so, or if not, let me know down below. I was just trying to think like, what would be really helpful for teachers going back to school? So if you can think of anything that's helpful for teachers going back to school, leave it down below so that I can give you what you want. Cause that's really what my goal is here. So here's my super fancy little lunch slash snack. I have frozen grapes. Um, Sprite Zero and then these tostadas with just some like cumin and chili powder on top so that they taste a little bit more like Mexican food and a little less like just cheese. Um, so really simple. I don't drink these a ton. I drink maybe two or three a week, but I love, love, love Coca-Cola and I do not like Coke Zero. So when I get a Coke craving and it's not time to have a Coke, then I have this. I do allow myself one Coca-Cola each week. So outside of that, if I just desperately need something, this, but normally I just drink water. And I'm right back at it. All right, YouTube is all done and scheduled and ready to go. It is currently like 3.30 in the afternoon. I've actually been pretty, I've actually been pretty productive today. Um, I got the last video up just now and then I kind of staged a mini impromptu photo shoot <laughs> um, with just like me and the computer and like my planner and my notebook and just little things like that because, which seems so silly, but every time that I post a YouTube video, I have to have a picture to put for the thumbnail. And I can like watch the videos and like screenshot, uh, but it is so hard because I make faces like the one that I just did. Like, <laughs> and it's, it's really hard to get like a normal looking picture. Um, so I always try it when I do like vlogs. Sorry, Tolly's like trying to get on the couch, but she's not quite sure. So anytime I do vlogs, I try it to like take a picture, even if it's just like a picture, like a selfie. Um, and if she gave up. Um, and then if like, you know, I talk about something, I try to like put something in the picture. So actually I just went and I put the vlog I just posted that's coming out tomorrow for me. Um, I thought I had a picture with some of the stuff that I had bought that day and I didn't. So I ran upstairs and like grabbed some of the stuff I bought that day and like took a picture with it. And I was like, this is pretty so that's why I did that. And I took like 20 pictures of just different versions of like some just me making different faces and like me pretending to type with the computer and like all this stuff. And it seems so silly, but seriously y'all, like every time I go to post a, picture, a YouTube video, I'm like, I need a picture. Especially all of my TBT videos. I never know what to put for those. I'm like, I don't know, I don't know what to put. Um, but if I just use the thumbnails that like, so what happens when you update, when you put up a video, it shows like three possible thumbnails and then you can add your own. And the three possible up thumbnails are usually, you know, faces like, because it's just part of your video that they screenshotted. Um, so I, and if you want any kind of like words on it, then you have to like make it yourself. Anyway, really long story. I'm gonna try to do that more often because it only took a couple minutes. So just little random photos anytime I'm doing something that might be useful. <laughs> anyway, so like I said, it's 3.30. Um, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm still feeling kind of like, ugh, but I wanna get some stuff done. I would like to clean the house a little bit. Um, I did not, let me back up. I was going to clean the bathrooms today. However, I have to clean the bathrooms either Monday or Tuesday because people are going to stay at our house while we're away to take care of our dogs. And so I don't want to clean the bathrooms today and then also clean them on Monday. Um, and I want them to be as clean as possible. So I'm not gonna clean the bathrooms today. I'm gonna wait and I'll do it either Monday or Tuesday so that I can just do it once and do it really, really well. Um, so right now, I think what I'm gonna do is just like, clean all the surfaces, like put the dishes away, clean the floor, maybe dust, um, pick up any random things 
around the house. We're, we are fairly clean. Like we're pretty tidy. We don't just like leave a bunch of crap out all over the place, but you know, there's little things here and there. So I think I'm just going to try to like tidy up as much as I can and get the floors downstairs. Cause I did vacuum the floors upstairs already. Um, I just like it to be nice and clean before the weekend and today's Friday. So I'm going to do that and then we'll see what time it is and see what else we shall do. Oh my goodness, y'all. Guess who just found the time lapse thing on my phone? Why do I make videos again? So we're looking a lot better. I got the dishes put away, the countertops cleaned, new dish rag out. Um, the only things out here are like some insurance information that my husband needs to file away. I put like my computer cord away, dusted all the surfaces, cleaned up the floors. Um, I always keep a sheet over these two sections of the couch because that's where the dogs normally lay and they shed a lot because they're dogs and they're so cute which is why it's not a big deal um so i always keep a sheet over here because it's a lot easier to clean a sheet than to try to deal with the couch and i had a blanket on this side because i go to the so much in the summer that I'm always wearing sunscreen and my husband last year was like said that the couch smelled like sunscreen like it had rubbed off of me from sitting here so I had like a blanket over here to keep it from smelling like sunscreen hopefully it's helping um, but I did not put any on today or yesterday so and it just looks so much better without it so I was like I'm just gonna take it off for the weekend and I'll put it back on Monday and Tuesday, it'll just like look a lot cleaner. Um, did all the dusting, pet the Athena. This was pretty much clean. I just need to take the sheet upstairs and yeah. All right, so I got the laundry folded and just lots of stuff picked up. My office is not picked up, clearly. Um, but I'm going to see about quilting one of these quilts. I was not going to bother to do it today. I was gonna wait and just do it like next week or the week after. Um, but I just feel like I've done so much that I want one of them to be quilt-like. Um, so if you, don't, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, if you make a quilt, you have to make the quilt top and then you quilt it, which is when you put the top, um, the fabric for the bottom, and then the batting, which goes in the middle, and you like stitch it, so all of that stuff together. And then after that, then you um, bind it, which is putting the stuff on the edges. So I have only done the tops, and then I put them like together, which is what my mom and I did, and monogrammed it. And now I need to do the quilting, and I will not do the binding today. And I'm probably just gonna quilt one of them. So we're gonna see how this goes. So here is quilt number one. Um, I just quilted, so I showed all these lines and I just did like wavy lines down each of the columns. Um, I think it turned out okay. I'm not like totally in love with how I did that, but the thread is like a light gray color. So you really can only see it on the black ones and the rest of the time it blends in pretty well. So I need to unpin everything and then you can see over here. So here's like the top. This is the batting, that's what's inside of a quilt. And then the back is just one piece of fabric. Um, so I definitely have a lot to learn and practice, especially with like how big the stitches are. Like in some places they're a lot bigger 
than in other places. This one was like super tiny because my machine just likes to do really, really ridiculously teeny tiny stitches. And it's kind of ridiculous. I don't really know. I don't know what it is. So I kind of wish that I had done it a little bit more uniform because I definitely did not do them uniform. You can see like here, they're just, yeah. Um, but I think it's fine. It'll be good. Um, and you can see over here where we monogrammed a little L on it. So yeah, pretty good. So now all I need to do is the actual binding part. So that's where I have to um, put the outside trim on it. And then I uh, will also cut this off so that it's all the same length. And then we shall be done. Um, also need to do that with my other one but that is okay. All right, so I have unbraided my hair because my husband texted me and he, I do this, I was editing vlogs and I was like, golly, I just do this all the time. Anyway, so I was editing vlog, nope. My husband texted me and said that he would like to go out tonight so I don't have to worry about dinner, which is super nice. I don't mind cooking, but I am always, happy to not have to um so right now it's like six o'clock he's on his way home i am going to paint my nails i'm using this sally hansen insta dry it really is insta dry um and this is called navy fleet i don't normally do like a dark navy that's pretty dark for me um but I thought I'd try it. I figure I will probably, we're leaving for Disney on Wednesday, so I'm probably going to do my nails on Tuesday night so that they are as close to okay as possible <laughs> um, as normal nail polish is. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna paint them and then I'm going to read. So I've got Prince Caspian. This is book number four of the Chronicles of Narnia series. I have not started this one. However, the other ones were really good. Like I thought they would be, good but I didn't think I was like really going to enjoy them um and I know I really liked this movie so hopefully I'll like them the Lion the Witch and the Wardrobe also is a movie and it was like accurate down to a T I'm gonna read that and then I'm gonna read um a little bit of Ugh. Own Your Every Day by Jordan Lee Dooley this is a book I'm reading for an online teacher's book club that's going on. By the time you see this, it'll be like over. <laughs> so sorry. But yeah, it was just like a fun little thing. And then when I'm done with that, I think I'm just going to like watch TV or YouTube videos until it's time to head on out. And yeah, so I hope you have had a wonderful Friday. If you're watching this on a Friday, I don't know. Um, when you see this though, I will be in Disney World, the happiest place on earth. So I hope that you will be feeling really, really happy as well. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video at all, please make sure you like, subscribe, and share. It really helps other people to see these videos and tells me what you are liking. The more I know what you like, the more I can make videos that you will enjoy. So hit the like button, share it, subscribe. Gracious, someone has got to remind me to take my glasses off so that there's not like glare all over them. There we go, much better. Okay, have a wonderful week.